alrighty then. Um, I'm going to show a method on cleaning catfish. Um, these are bullhead. I got a couple of bullhead um, that I found on YouTube that I thought were pretty, pretty nifty, pretty slick, pretty quick and easy. Um, uh, catfish, bullhead have these barbels. That's where they taste um, and they sense things because they're bottom feeders. And they don't have scales. They have a skin that's slimy coated. Uh, that's actually how they breathe. Um, through the water, but we don't eat the skin. So I'm going to show you a quick way to clean a catfish, or in this case, a bullhead. What you do is take a sharp knife, and you start from the back dorsal fin here, and you cut all the way down towards the main dorsal fin, and right behind it. And I'm cutting in at an angle, and I'm going to cut that and just get and just clip the spine just a little bit. Then it's always nice to have a pair of pliers on hand. And then what I want to do is I want to try to get to the spine. There's the uh, the swim bladder right there. I want to grab this, and then I just want to take this and pull straight. Oops, Daisy, that was the swim bladder. Take this and pull straight down, and get rid of the liver and all the other offal or guts. Um, and that's it. And go ahead and kind of I can clean this if I want to out. And then there's your piece that you fry up or whatever. And then just place it there. So I'm going to do it again. i get another one right here. So again, I'm going to take a sharp blade and start at the back dorsal fin. And I want to cut the back part up through the skin. Make sure you get the skin. That's the, that's the idea. I'm going to cut down at an angle towards the spine. And I want to just cut the spine a bit like that. Okay? You can kind of take your fingers and you're going to peel back. Okay? Sorry for the gore. Let's take the pliers. Pliers are good to have on hand, but you can use your fingers. This is slippery. And you peel, pull up, and peel down. And then you discard that part. And then there is your fresh piece of catfish right there. Alright, I'm going to do it one last time. Grab this one here. Nice size one. They don't, bullhead don't get too big at all. They don't get too big at all. So this is actually a pretty decent size right now. They get they don't get any bigger than about five pounds. And this one looks like to me about a half a pound. So I want to cut the back of the skin. I want to get the skin out. I want to cut behind the main dorsal fin. One thing about catfish is that they have these barbs on the side here that are really pointy and sharp and they hurt like the Dickens and also the top dorsal one if you if you catch one so when you hold them you kinda have to kinda hold it like this so that the dorsals are in between here or that the side ones are in between and the dorsal fin lays down otherwise they will fin you and I got finned the other day and it bled and it hurts and it's itchy and it just sucks so be careful of the barbs it's the way they protect themselves so anyways, I'm going to go down here, I'm going to take this, I'm going to cut straight down to just to crack the spine. There we go. And then pry this up. There's the, there's the spine down there. That's the swim bladder. That's what makes it float. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab a pair of pliers here. And I'm going to pull this up. As I pull down. Sorry for the gore. But <laughs> well, that's pretty much it. And then that's why the pliers are useful. Um, the way most people that don't know this method, and the way I used to do it, used to hate catching catfish because of this, was you'd have to take your pliers and peel the skin off. And this is tedious. And it takes too much time. And as you saw with this method, it's really quick. It's actually quicker than scaling or actually cleaning scaled fish. So that's pretty much get rid of this part here. Boom, and then you'd wash this off. And then there's your, your piece that you would uh, uh, batter up and fry or put in your soup or however you want to cook it.